Hey guys, I'm going to do this part as a YouTube video for you. You can uh, have a look at it. I'm just standing out on the, the main street here. So th this would be the way to, uh, to come into the house. See your neighbor a little bit over there. But as you can see all the way down the road, uh, privacy is what you're looking for. You can't see any any neighbors homes here's the here's the driveway here you can't even see the house um, right up in here that's the back of somebody's garage next door give you an idea the road definitely uh, in need of some repair out here the driveway as well um, could use some uh, new gravel all the way up through. Um, I'm sure there'd be a, a few truckloads to put some uh, quarter minus down is what I would recommend. <clears throat> but anyhow, we'll take a walk up through. As you can see, like there's there's potholes already uh, there. Uh, I did a history on this, and I remember this property was on the market last year. Uh, they couldn't sell it last. It was probably a year and a half ago, uh, somewhere around there and uh, they couldn't sell it at this price uh, of course they're probably hearing what the market's like so they uh, want to go back on the market of course and, and they'll sell this year there's no question about that uh, i remember the house took a quick walk through there it is a little tired on the inside uh, it's going to need some freshening up for sure the road going in and out it's one car wide obviously um and it might be a little tricky if it gets icy here sometimes because uh, it's i mean it's wide enough to get a to get a truck up in through here no problem at all uh, but it, it is windy you can tell over here just a little bit of a, a dip down there if you were ever to go off the road i don't think you would but point that out Obviously, uh, the sun's out, everything is melting, so there's lots of water, but these these will be here anytime it rains. So, like I said, these, these potholes here. Not to mention uh, all the mud on your car every day if it's like this. see the street from here A lot of dead trees and stuff in line on the grounds and, and brush there. Mm, not exactly sure what uh, might be in here underneath the snow. If that's uh, grass or, or whatnot. There is a wired fence over here. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's just a galvanized, but it's probably right here by this tree. Just beyond that tree right there. Probably just the, the owner marking off their land. And it, it staggers out wider as well. Obviously a little bit of a kind of rock wall, retaining wall of some sort right here. A 
But as you can tell, the driveway all the way up right now, it's just literally mud. Side house, they got great parking if you're in the boats, obviously, or RVs. Good parking back in right here. Some firewood. Again, as you can tell, a lot of a lot of dead trees in around there, but definitely quiet up here. Siding really so far all the seems to be in pretty good shape. I would imagine it's original. This would be just a man door going into the uh, to the garage. The uh, chimney appears to be all in good order there. All the motor and stuff is good. See these rain spouts like that right there building inspectors i would also recommend like they should be taken and directed further away from the house because any water coming down is just going to sit there there's no smell of water downstairs i was in there but it's uh, definitely a good idea to keep that away from the house big uh, yellow birch here these are also a good idea to trim and keep them away from your roof the uh, playset there is uh, probably ready for the fire pit. There's a cat missing there, which is never, never good. Birds get up in there. The uh, basement windows, I heard to tell that uh, these are original. They've been painted a few times. Still seem to be uh, not rotted by no means. They could use a bit of a cleaning for sure. And they work, but they would be original to the house. Same as uh, these ones here. Give me a close up there of what they look like. Need a good paint job, probably, but uh, they're getting old. The deck looks like it's uh, in good condition. All done properly in there. Obviously, it's a good size yard. It's a down slope going that way. The water will run away from the house. Same thing. So this is what I remember about the home. Like it's tired pretty much like all the way through the house. Uh, which shows again just on this this door the condition. I'm sure it's all workable. Um, keeping the weather out but probably looks worse than what it is but again all original that's Heidi texting me a little bit of a warp there that generally happens a lot of times because of these things people put them too close to the house and they melt the siding as you can tell window here but for the most part the siding looks like it's all in good shape for the age of it show you the deck the 
the roof uh, needs to be replaced. Sure, if you can see that, that's on top of the garage. And that is toast. The extension on that chimney over there doesn't look that great from this side. Uh, there definitely needs uh, a little bit of attention to that, uh, that extension on a the chimney there for sure. But again, the whole house is uh, pretty much that way all the way through. <laughs> Same thing at this window, as you can tell, they're starting to age. Again, these ones, they're they're good and solid, but they're they're starting to starting to show the weather. Good good bit of paint on those would probably last a bit longer for sure. <laughs> I'm going to guess actually right here is probably where the uh, septic is here. Something sticking out of the ground there. That's probably the clean out for the septic. Nice to have a walk out here into the basement. So it's, it's a whole separate entrance um, for the basement. The extension here. So like all that water is just hitting the ground going here. And settling right here by the door so like obviously put this thing back on let's get it to uh, go away okay I'm gonna answer the call